Yo guys, what is up? You got Quinnair here coming at you with a brand new video. A lot of people have been asking for this one. So we're just going to go again right into it. This is for the Warlock meme build or the Scourge uh, with the Revelation um, so, uh, Mystic Badge from the Celestial Basin. I think there's other means of obtaining it too. I'm not quite sure, but I just know the main place is going to be Celestial Basin with the Peaches. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get into um what um xml you can use for this um so i have uh, multi-tool pulled up here um so i have a previous video on how to use multi-tool and how to download it and all that stuff so um i'll leave a link to that video in the description so please go to check please be sure to go check that out if you ask me where to get this i'm just gonna trick um it's gonna point you directly to that video so you can just go watch it um, but anyways, let's just uh, assume that uh, everyone watching this video um, knows about multi-tool and how to download patches, so I'm going to show you what patches you should get. So we're going to come over here to patches, we're going to go to sync, uh, we're just going to go ahead and authorize here, and we're going to change this to Warlock. Um, so the XML that I'm using is Hello Kitty's Warlock Rework. Um, basically what this does is put the whole, the entire rotation on um, R and B and G. So basically, um, but what you need to do here is all in the description of this XML. It rebounds the simple mode skills, so you, this does require simple mode. It rebounds it on two buttons, which is going to be G and T. So what you want to do is, is disable your ultimate, which is G. Um, and then you want to macro GT or TG. Um, either works, I believe. Um, so yeah. Uh, just make sure that you have Hello, the Hello Kitty plugin installed. Um, I again, I showed that all in the video that I made for this, so please, please be sure to go check that out. Um, and then, once you have that synced and installed, uh, you're gonna want to get. Um, I also use this one, uh, Simple Shadow uh, Soul Burn to one. Basically, so you can just double tap one. You can just do one one to do Soul Burn. Uh, makes it pretty easy. Uh, this is obviously. As you can see in the description, this was designed to use to be used with that other XML uh, by Space Jesus. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of show you how that works. So we're here in the training room. Uh, now, of course, like when you're not looking at an enemy, your RMB and stuff does not show up. Um, let me make sure to switch back to the meme spec. So we're gonna pull up that. Uh, this is the uh, the talents you want to use. Uh, so it's uh, one 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 two, and then uh, you want to put your points. I have mine in um, Dragon Helix and Awakened Dragon Helix. Um, I guess it might be better to do the full ten on this one versus this one, but uh, not really gonna worry about that right now. So and as for gear, this is the gear that I have take a quick look at that if you want to um, but yeah uh, I literally just have uh, TG uh, macro TG um, I do have a video on how to use a Mac or how to make a macro as well um, well at least for if you have a steel series mouse at least so you can go I got, I'll leave a description or I'll leave sorry I'll leave a link in the description for that video as well if you guys want to go check that out um, but yeah and this is the current um, runes that I'm running. Whoops, I gotta switch to this one. Um, this is the current runes that I'm using. Um, obviously these change based on whatever content that I'm doing. These were just the last ones that I was using. So, yeah, um, basically what I do as like a opener, I guess you could say, is I summon Thrall. Now, I'm not exactly sure what is a good time to use your second soul burn. Um, this does have a second personal soul burn. What you can do one and then C, which that's will sacrifice thrall for personal soul burn, it's not for party use. Uh, so, yeah, we're just gonna summon thrall. Then we're gonna do talisman, which I have mine set to shift E. Then we're gonna do soul burn one one and then macro. And that's literally it, right there, guys. And then when soul burn gets down to about five seconds, I'll go ahead and pop it because it'll take at least a couple seconds for the uh, Thrall to sacrifice itself. And then we have Soul Burn right off start again. For some big PP damage and uh, 
yeah, I mean, having the revelation, whoops, I wasn't even using revelation, my bad. Uh, but yeah, this is the badge that you want, it's uh, going to be acquired from Celestial Basin uh, with uh, Peaches. So yeah, it's called the Revelation Mystic Badge, it's the Mystic Badge you want to use. And then currently the best in slot Soul Badge is going to be the Zenith Soul Badge, so I'll make sure. Uh, it's either, uh, so Zenith is the best in slot currently, or I think if you're, if you can't get this one, I think it's Wing Rise. I may have to double check on that, uh, so don't quote me on that one. I'm pretty sure it's Wing Rise. Let me take a quick look for you guys so I can make sure I'm giving you the correct information. So give me j just a moment. Uh, Soul Badge, so for <clears throat> Scourge. <clears throat> so yeah, the best badge that you can get for Scourge currently, uh, if, if you don't have this one, the Zenith, it's gonna be the Wing Rise. The wing rise soul badge so make sure that you get your hands on that uh, you want ring wing rise or zenith and you want the mist the revelation mystic soul badge um i think that's pretty much it i mean I, there's not really much else to talk about i mean just like i said just kind of start with that opener and um in a, in a real like real fights real boss fights i mean you can summon your thrall throughout the fight and use your pers personal soul burn whenever you have it or whatever um, I mean, you guys know, I, mean, I assume some of you know how to play the game, so, yeah. Uh, I mean, like I said, just macro TG, or, I mean, if you can't use a macro, uh, there is a auto hotkey script or something like that. I've never really used it that much. Um, that can also be used that way, I believe. Um, I mean, if nothing else, you can just, um, hold down R and B, uh, but you're gonna take a DPS loss if you can't, um, do G as well. Um, because you want uh, that uh, TG to be going off, so yeah, um, yeah. I may do some more videos in the future about this. Uh, I just wanted to go ahead and get this out there because I've had some people ask some questions, and this is just a little quick little thing. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions about this, uh, feel free to leave your comments down below. I will get to them as quickly as possible. I uh, remember I will have links in the description for the other videos that I have made uh, that are related to this. So. See ya.